Welcome. So here's a quick breakdown on how the new AI SEO editor feature works and how it can change the way you approach SEO. So after you've generated an article using Journalist AI, it should show up here in the history tab. Now you can click it, of course, and then click on view to view your article. To open the AI SEO editor, just simply click this little icon right here and then click on edit with AI up top. Now you are inside the AI editor. Now I want to go over every single feature this editor gives you. So what you'll notice when you select either a paragraph or adjust a sentence is this new pop-up will appear. Now let's go over each one of these one by one. The first one is you can add links to your paragraph. So if I click here, add external links, right? The AI will read through the whole article, then read through the paragraph and find relevant links it can add to in this section, giving us the anchor text as well as the URL it can link out to. I can simply just select them right here. And as you can see, they're being added to the text live, right? I just added all these links to my paragraph. And I can do this in a sentence, just a paragraph or the whole article, right? I can do the same thing for internal links if I'd like, right? And that's the linking part. It will save you a lot of time because you don't need to go out and look for the sources to link out to, choose the anchor text. It just saves you a lot of time. Now, let's say, for example, you go through this paragraph right here and you, th you see, oh, there's, there's a couple of keywords missing. I want to add some more keywords, right? You go here to the add keywords tab and you can add as many keywords as you want in here and the AI will make sure that they'll, they're properly sprinkled in in a way that makes sense. Let's say, for example, my keyword is Audi uh, Q8 seats, right? Again, again, this is an article about a car, right? It's the new Audi, right? And I wanted to talk about and include the keyword Audi Q8 seats. So I just click enter, right? And now the AI will find the best way to add this keyword in a way that makes sense according not just to the context of the paragraph, but the context of the whole article, right? As you see here, uh, from driving modes to in-car entertainment, including the Audi Q8 seats, right? I click accept if I want, if not, I can just click decline, right? And again, I can add as many keywords as I want, and the AI will make sure that these keywords are placed in a way that makes sense. Nothing is ever random, right? I can keep on scrolling down and keep on editing things. For example, let's say here, this paragraph right here, let's say I wanna write, rewrite this. I click here and I can make it I can simplify it, I can rewrite it, I can make it longer, make it short, I can make a list, I can make a table. Let's say, for example, I want to make a list, right? I can, it, the AI will take the info in this paragraph and make a list out of it. And I can accept or discard, right? Let's say, for example, I want to write this as, let's say, uh, rewrite this as a race car driver driving very fast, right? I don't know why you want to do this, but you can, right? You can add any prompt you want, right? Just click accept, right? A more, a better way for me to show you how this works is write this as a baby crying, right? No one ever will want to do this, but you can. And the AI will change the text and the way it's worded according to the prompt you gave it. Okay, so there we go, right? As you see here, it's written in sort of a baby form as if this was crying. So again, the AI will take in any prompt you want and it can rewrite it according to your prompt. Now, of course, there's some presets here like the make it longer or make it shorter. If I click here, make it longer, the AI will take this information and expand on it, making the text a bit longer. Now I can take this, for example, let's say this one, and let's say I want to make it a bit more concise. I just make it shorter, right? The AI will make it shorter, right? There we go. Less than two sentences, okay? So these are the main features of the AI SEO writer in terms of text. Now you can also work it with images. If you click an image and you click this little icon right here, you can, with a custom prompt, change how the image looks like. Now if I just say here, add a dog, it won't just make a picture of a dog. It will take into account the context of the article. In this case, it is a car review, an Audi review, right? And the image itself, and add a dog to the image of the car that was already there. So again, nothing is random. It takes into account the whole context of the article. There you go. So it, even though I just said add a dog, it knew it was an article about a car review and it added a dog next to it. I can accept or decline, right? I can go and take this one right here and say, for example, make the car blue, right? They can change the colors of stuff. And this works for people, places, products, animals. This works for any single thing, again, where you can add a prompt to. Again, there we go. The car is blue. Again, this is sort of not the best generation. So we can generate again with unlimited generations. As you see here, this isn't really the great output for AI, but we can keep on generating. And as you see here, this version is much better. And again, this took me two seconds. I can just click accept. 
Now, on top of that, we can take the image alt text right here, in this case, audioquate on a winding mountain road. Again, it is that, right? We can generate the alt text with AI too. In this case, it just basically regenerated the, the alt text because it was already there. But if I add an image right here, and I'll do that for you right now, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna click add image, right? Add image right here from my computer. And if, for example, I add an image of Yoda, right? click here, alt text, click generate, the AI will read the image and automatically add an alt text for that image. Yoda sitting on smoking surrounded by whatever, right? There we go, I accept that, okay? Now you can do the same thing for the featured image right here. Again, you can click it and you can change it if you like, giving it a prompt, uh, the image itself, or you can change, of course, the alt text if you want. And these are the main functionalities of this AI SEO writer. Now again, you can do all this manually, right? You can go out and you can add internal links, external links, you can add keywords, you can rewrite this stuff, you can do all of this manually. The thing is, why would you, right? Why would you do all this stuff manually when you can just use AI that does this for you in just seconds, right? Again, adding links, for example, is a process that takes so much time because you gotta read the article, then go and find, okay, which articles do I wanna link out to and which anchor text do I wanna use, both for external and external links, right? Adding keywords, right? Yes, you have the list of keywords you wanna add. Yes, you can add them here, but then you wanna make sure you add them in a way that makes sense. You wanna make sure that the keywords you're adding make sense according to the context of and structure of the sentences, right? It takes a lot of time. Same thing for images generation, same thing for making things shorter, same thing for adding things to a table, to a list. Again, all this is here to save you time. So try it out, give it a go. We're really excited to launch this for our users. Thank you so much for being a user and I'll see you very soon.